Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with our second match. Uh, so, as I said, we've got another Republic versus not Republic <clears throat> Resistance versus <laughs> Rebel. It's it's the one the one uh, R that isn't there this evening. Um, so, joining me for this match and commentary, uh, Sam's still here. Oh, I never leave. And uh, Chris should be popping in as and when he's ready. Yeah, I've got some different flavours of list this yes. time, though. So the uh, the first match you watched this evening was taking the balance restrictions and going high and low. Uh, these guys have all gone for initiative falls. Uh, Enzaru's got the initiative, and I shall run through his list. Uh, so you've got Dutch in the Y Wing, obviously passing out free locks. Uh, not an R3 on, which is not unusual, but you see it quite often. Uh, it's got a dorsal turret, uh, plasma torpedoes, and concussion bombs. Uh, Jake with prockets, so taking focuses, passing focuses around, getting that punch shot. Uh, Wolf Warrow with a shield upgrade. Obviously, I'm imagining we'll take a concussion bomb from Dutch on the first round to slip that damage under the shields to become a four dice half arc. Uh, and then Garvin, who I swear I know what he does. Do you know what he does off the top uh, of your head? Good to know, good to know. <laughs> uh, after you spend a focus token, you may choose one friendly ship at range one to three. That ship gains one focus token. I did actually know that, I just forgot it was him. So, obvious combos with Jake. To make sure he can fire that procket. Yeah. And he's got advanced Protorp torpedoes and the S foils. And facing him is John's list, which I'll give you the pleasure of running through. So we've got another resistance list, and hey, Chewbacca's back, and this time he's brought more friends than just Ray in the title. Uh, we've got Chewbacca with C3PO, Ray Gunner, Dead Man Switch, and the uh, Ray's Millennium Falcon title. So we've got a more chunky Chewbacca. Uh, can calculate, and when he dies, he's uh, taking something with him. Uh, then we've got Temin Snap Wexley with heroic R3 Astromech and advanced proton torpedoes, and obviously the S foils. Uh, and then Care Kun, while you boost, you may use the one hard or one hard templates instead with heroic and M9G8. Hey, M9G8 suddenly an all star. So this is interesting. We've got like. A similar flavor to what um, Chris was bringing, except the X wings are like their initiatives are more evened out. We've got two, lots of I fours. I imagine Kerkun is target locking Chewbacca again. Would be my guess, yeah. Lots of APTs, so I feel like this is going to be <laughs> an explosive game of X wing, like. Because everyone's I-4, there's two APTs, lots of people are going to die. Quite quickly. Um... I thought that didn't matter. Right, I will open up the betting for this match. So, let's see who you guys think is going to be victorious on this one. As always, exclamation mark, bet left all for the resistance. And bet right all for the thing. And I need to move the dice box back because they've moved it. All right, well, I went with the resistance last time, so I'll take the rebels this time. Let's go for it. I need to work out exactly where to put the thing there. See any tokens? What? Or dice? What? Okay. They I might just need to reconnect. I can see tokens. You can see tokens, right? I can pick up tokens. Not quite sure how this is somehow messed up for them, but if they can't see the center of the board because the dice box is on it, that's weird. 
Can't see. Um, yeah. Still. Looks fine to you, doesn't it? Makes me wonder what they're seeing. Anywho, all right, we got the bets all on the go. I've decided to go all in on the rebels because I went Republic last time. Uh, oh my god, I'm saying it now. I went Resistance last time, so I feel like I should even out my bets. That's weird. Um, your box is a saved object, right? Yeah. Like. You could try getting rid of that object and just respawning it. The problem is my dice cam is set up for where it is. Oh, and it's not a saved no, object. No, but I mean, if you respawn the saved object, maybe it'll be correct for them. That's all I meant. Got to love on the fly. Changes. Um... And now Enzo is disconnected. <laughs> and re and I, oh, well, it's fine. He's... Whatever. If you've deleted it and you still can't see it, then it's something else is wrong. Alright, let's do a quick bit of on the fly. Anyway, these guys are still sitting up. Alright, yeah, that just spawned in the middle of the table. Yeah, but you can move it, right? Uh, in the middle of the table and floating. Yep. Well, why has it done that? And why can't I... Oh, it's because I'm a spectator, isn't it? So my guess is that was just a, a bad load. Well, yeah, it, it's odd that it's a bad load because it's the saved room that I use for every... No, the, the reason I say bad load is because things always spawn in the middle, so I'm guessing is Enzeru's just didn't um, move. Like, because everything like, spawns and then zips to its location. Yeah. But we're getting there. <laughs> They've removed the range templates that set up deployment. Everyone's set up in janky formations. Uh, I can for you know what? I think I can foresee a uh, concussion bomb being dropped by Dutch here. And then a turn and a reload. Yep. Yeah, I think so. Sound be um Ready to go, Sean? Yep. Yeah, yeah, crack on. Yeah, all right, we're kids. All right. Um, you can see everything all right now, can't you, John? It's fine. If he's all right, he's all right. Yeah. Ping, ping, ping. I'm going to grumble and all looking at the chart. I told them to just go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, they started the clock. Yeah. Away they go. Oh, yeah, System okay. phase. Here comes a bomb. Drop a bomb. The zinger. So uh, we know that Enzo is first player. Three straight. I hope he's boosting. Um. Uh -huh. Um. No. Hang on. Why is he, he taking, bumped? Yeah. Why is he taking a disarm? He because he decided he bumps and gets to reload. Uh, do you want to hang on. that? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You're you've got a color. Set it in the chat in case I don't see. Am I going crazy? Is there some way he gets an action? Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> I have no idea why it... So you know what this means, right? What? Dutch is dropping yeah. another bomb next turn. Yeah, but that should be easy enough to get out of if you just... <laughs> it's just... Go faster, after. don't you? <laughs> Oh yeah, of course, because you, now you've missed now you've missed your one opportunity for. I was gonna say it's like, like when I saw the three straight, I was like, well, I hope Jake's boosting. I 
funny. Oh no. Oh, my caster curse is back. <laughs> Did you bet on the rebels? I bet on the rebels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam. Take the yeah, took the strain to not flip it. Good. Ay 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 ay. What is what is going on with this? Uh, okay, there we go. Throw it into the pile. Ay 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 ay. So that that definitely felt like uh, the way Andrew went through that. That was like automatic. So I have a feeling that when he sets it up, sometimes that works. Um, but Jake must be just slightly further back than uh, normal. Yeah, the bump did hurt. Because now Dutch has to drop a bomb, and then we'll have to drop another bomb. But I kind of feel that if if you're setting up, you set up in enough slight leeway, to, you know, that you shouldn't ever be bumping. I mean, there's another way I would say it is like, why did Jake bother taking a focus? I feel like he just boosts. Right. You make sure, right? right? Yeah. But it's fine. Moving on. Haven't even looked at what Vickery was doing because I was so distracted. Stuff is just slowly bumping and turning. Um, I'm guessing. Some time. Say, I'm guessing Chewie did a one forward. Yeah. Just buying some time. He's going to let uh, Enzru deal some damage to himself for a little bit. <laughs> well, let's be fair. The concussion bomb's main job there is to turn Wolf Warrior into a four. It's true. Um... So if you can get out of there without taking any more... like that That is true. It's not like the end of the world. But like Wolf Warrior has, has to turn. It yeah. doesn't have a boost, does it? Does it have a boost? Yeah. I might have gone a little bit faster. Oh my god. Okay. This is some... Alright, so two straight from Jake, one straight from... He barrels... there and forwards. I guess he might be out of the... he might be out of it. All Jake... Right. Dutch does a two, and okay, he does get to take his action. Now, does Dutch <laughs> extend the pain and reload? No, Dutch takes another focus. Yeah, you don't now. You've missed your opportunity. Get, <laughs> get rid of the bombs. So here we go. Kekon uh, turns. Temin moves in, presumably to bump Chewie again. Oh, no. Boosts in and focuses for a stress. Oh, wait. No, it's not for a stress. It's Temin's ability. After you fully execute a speed 2 to 4 maneuver, you perform a boost. I believe he's missed the, with the bomb there as well. Incredibly close to Wolf Warrior. That, that barrel roll putting him forward really did. Anyway, bomb problems aside, the the plan has worked. Wolf Warrow has a damage card on him, so he is now a four dice shot at being at most effectively full health with a shield upgrade combined. It's quite a good trick, but I suppose the problem with it is you tie up a lot of points. Because you've got Wolf Warrior himself, and then you've got to have the bomb carrier. I mean, well, I, I think you don't have to have the shield upgrade, and the bomb is working no, no, no. on its own I... as long as you can no, but, well, Yeah, I mean, personally, I probably would have bought a hull upgrade over a shield upgrade. I mean, in, I guess in the I guess in the balance environment, you have a little you have extra points to spend if you're bringing APT well, yeah. and you're going for all I fours, right? I think personally, I would have probably changed the shield to a hull and upgraded plasma torps on Dutch to pro torps, but that's my personal preference. I still think I still, uh, all of the ships maybe. can all of the ships can punch hard. If you get the plasmas off first, it's effectively a pro torp. <laughs> So 
So whilst it does feel like the concussions have been wasted, Dutch does have the option to reload at some point if he wants to. Like, it's not ideal. But if Dutch doesn't have a shot and he wants to have a bomb, okay, so Wolfaro does a one bank, clears that stress that he definitely added after he barrel rolled last turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and Dutch does a T straight again. His, I mean, I think he's still fine, but it's close. Oh, yeah. Would actually help if I took that damage off uh, Wolf Warrior, wouldn't it? Down so Temin just goes forwards. Are we getting a bit of a ring around the rosy here. Gets his free boost. And then is going to barrel roll. Kerkun, the four straight, and probably just a straight boost, yeah. So we're doing a bit of a ring around the rosies at the minute. Chewbacca is still going quite slow. What does Chewbacca do here? It just takes a focus. Yep, that makes sense. Just playing out. The bomb misses. All right. So the adventures of the concussion bombs are done. Where do you go from here as the rebel list? So because the rebel is effectively an ordnance list. Me. Like that's me personally. Where your damage is coming from. I turn in. Yeah, it does seem like it, doesn't it? You turn in because you've got an option to then continue the turn up through the very large gap where it looks like the X-Wings are heading. But if they don't go that way and sort of hard turn back round, you're, you're not committed to it. You can still pretty much, I think you could get away with straddling the debris right in the middle. I think you could turn left between the two rocks if you needed to. I think if you carry on going straight, it's going to force you into that corner and round. And then you don't have quite, yeah, quite as good All turn. Alright, so Wolf does a bank. And everyone else turns in. Yeah. Okay. Jake gonna start doing Jake things. Let's see. Hello. Just nope. Just focuses. Hello. Uh, welcome to the party. Um, so not much has happened except uh, Enzeru, our rebel player, messed up his bomb opening when putting a, a damage onto oh, no. on, onto Wolfwaro and was unable to reload in turn one. So now all of the bombs are gone. <laughs> right. Okay. Because of the nature of concussion bombs. <laughs> nice. Uh, Some slight and everyone's just on, kind of on circling. Uh, it looks like. The rebels, Enzo is trying to make things a little bit interesting. The rebels are turning into the middle of the board. Okay. Um, and I feel like they're gonna probably, depending on where Chewie goes, probably keep turning. Yeah. I go in between those two, like the wide gap between the debris. Yeah. No, I still like that. You could go insane and just slam forward as fast as you can, but I don't think that's a great idea. Good evening to everybody joining us from Hexard. Hello, hello, hello. You're joining at the right time. Things are about to start getting interesting. The circling around the edge of the board has begun to stop and people are moving in. And betting is still active, so get those bets in. As always, exclamation mark, bet left all. If you think John's resistance list is going to be victorious this evening, or bet, uh, exclamation mark, bet right all for Enzu's rebel list.
just to catch everyone who's just joined up uh the only thing of note that has happened so far is that uh, unfortunately enzaru messed up his opening slightly and bumped dutch um whilst he was doing the old concussion bomb onto wolf trick and so was unable to reload turn one and so now the rest of the concussion bombs are all gone but other than that, everyone has just moved and focused, moved and focused, moved and focused, until now, the Rebels are turning into the middle of the board, and hopefully we'll get some shooting. In maybe a turn or two, when people decide to fight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't blame them for being cautious. There's oh, no, a no, proton no. rocket, an advanced, and there's a proton rocket, an advanced Trojan Torpedo and Wolf Wario on one side, and advanced Trojan Torpedo and... I mean, I guess that's about it for the really heavy hits on uh, John's side, but like, there's a lot of let's roll lots of red dice once a game, and so avoiding that is probably quite sensible. But here we go. Uh, Garvin, two bank in, focus. I wonder where Wolf is going. Two bank from Jake. Alright, well, if, if Dutch did a two bank, I don't think that's fitting. What's Jake going to do? He's yeah. going to barrel roll. Not hard. In. Dude. Yeah. Barrel on the inside. And then boost. And then nice boost, yep. Yeah. Nice gun. There, showing the uh, action economy. And then gives Wolf Waro another focus. That's a whole lot of rebels in one really tiny space right there. Yep. Yeah. Good. And they've all got focus tokens. And then Wolf bumps. <laughs> That's good. Protecting Wolf. Keeping him at the back, so he's the worst target to go for. Alright. Resistance. Still moving relatively cautiously. Like, there's definitely... F this... this is I feel like this, this is, like many games, is going to decide, be decided entirely on who gets that slightly better opening engagement. And at the minute, I'm kind of favouring the Rebels right yeah, now, just because Chewbacca's so. probably facing the wrong way for what this game is looking to do. Maybe. But he can rotate quite easily. True. Okay, so they're barrel rolling out to the side, and Chewbacca does a three sloop. I like it. Yep. It gives Chewbacca an escape option as well. Just like, okay, to so say, no shots. just like to say thank you for all the follows, guys. If you want to catch up on any of our past matches, they're all up on our YouTube channel. Uh, head over there. I highly recommend the, uh, the Battleships game we had last week. There was four large base ships with a pile of upgrades firing randomly at each other, to be honest. It, it, it was a very good... Very, very good match. Here, here is the link to that specific Actually, no, match. No, wait, hold on. Aggressors are medium bases. I lied. Aggressors are medium bases. Fine. Four 100 point ships. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you like what you see, don't forget to give us a subscribe to stay up to date with all our videos. Yes, it was a, a classic example of our professional commentating that match. Absolutely. You wouldn't find anything else better and more professional than here at Toon Squadron. And most importantly, you get a Heftober game where Heftober's action economy really, <laughs> really worked out. Oh. Heftober and Gonk Droid combo is a real thing. Yep, and it just kept going. <laughs> right. But onto this game. I think we're going to get some action this turn, I what do you am. think? So I am going to close the betting, because I think this round is going to be the first of the shooting. And currently, it looks like 55% of people are favouring the Rebels. I'm backing John. 
I, he's got the third wheel wookie. I'm going with John. I'm going with the local boy. Well, I went I went uh, resistance last game, so I felt I had to go rebels this game. That's fair. Well, thanks for backing me. Yep, no Although problem. I did my best to make hard work. <laughs> scared the hell out of me, to, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. But hey, I had confidence. Uh, so, moves from the Rebels. Do you go slow or do you go fast? You've got to go fast enough to get those locks off. Um, a lot of this game was decided on a dice roll, uh, I feel. Um, but... Yeah, I feel you're gonna have to go. You're gonna have to go relatively fast just to get enough to get Dutch to get at least a target lock. You need to do that to get the action economy off, and then that's gonna make that hit harder this turn. Because what the rebel player is gonna want to do is try and nuke at least one T70 if he can. Yeah. Yeah. Silence as we so, wait for moves to happen. Yeah. Like it's uh so from John I'm expecting some sort of blue move to clear the stress and then a rotate. I don't really think there's much else you would do. You're not gonna two bank out anywhere and you're not gonna two bank towards the debris I wouldn't have thought. Yeah, so just maybe even just a one straight, just play it safe. Oh, see, that's the difference between me and you. I was like three maybe go straight. Two. I'd go two straight because at least it's blue. True. Is one? Oh, is yeah. one? Is the one straight not blue on the? Uh, the one straight and the two straight is blue, and the two banks are blue. Okay. Well, um, but I think the one, I think the one straight is too conservative and opens Fair. you up for shots. But rebels are on the move. Uh, congratulations, crispy twenty twenty. Hey. We're at the end, top of the ladder at the moment. So we got a four straight from Garvin Dress, and he locks the back X Wing Kerkun. So Garvin does have an APT, so I imagine he is quite hoping that uh, Vickery's come in fast. Here comes Jake. What's Jake doing? Barrel rolling to the right. Woods. Gets his focus, and then that's a boost, and he's going to give Garvin a focus, I'd imagine. I'd imagine so. Hey, 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 we've got focuses all around. Here comes Dutch. Ooh, so, just in, just in. Just in on Temin. So it's close. So who do you pass that off to? What do you... Wolf, because it... Wolf can't lock. Yeah, that is true. Oh, but he gives it to Jake. I would, I would have, I would have said Wolf because Wolf can't take a lock. But I don't You've know what Wolf's doing. Rocket. Well, that's it. I think it's, I think yeah. it's dependent Hoping for on the double modded proton rocket. On where you think he's gone, where you think he's turning. I would have given it to either um, Garvin or Jake, depending on whether I think he's turned in or is going a bit faster. I'm hoping Temin is just getting out of there. So uh, John did only so do the one. Did do only do the one. So you clear the stress, and I guess you rotate. Gonna have to. But it looks like John's measuring up a boost. Oh. Ch check out all the guys in the chat cool. talking about being at the top of the table. You should come and join me uh, cropping up that. the bottom. Uh, Liam's Liam's joining at the bottom. Oh, excellent. Oh dear. <laughs> he got beat by uh, Mr. Matt Coggins. Nice. No. Um, Mr. Matt, I only use Ray Coggins. Um, <laughs> You know what, coming from someone who played solid Ray Venny for like six months straight, I'm not really sure you can talk. But I don't only play Ray <laughs> Venny, <laughs> To be fair, alright, she is crew on Chewie, technically. So she's playing Ray, but it's, um, yeah. I've only been playing Resistance for six months. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing, really, when you think about it. Yeah, so as soon as Resistance became meta and, uh, Rebels, well, jump ship. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, you know what, Sean? 
this is, this is going to get bring up forever until you do something with Republic, but you can't talk about... ...using Cobra. Uh, he likes the armchair too much. Uh, the non-dot right. ship does not have to be in range, I believe, because it says you can acquire it ignoring range restrictions. Yes. Which makes Dutch great. Yep. I'm not sure... Ah, checking so for a coordinate there. Uh, calculate and coordinating. So, when 3PO coordinates, you get a calculate token anyway. Right, okay. Because um, otherwise, if you didn't and you just took a calculate, you get two. So if 3PO is quite good, but in this instance, not quite. So he didn't get anyone in range two. Didn't get anyone in range two, so I was a failed That's, coordinate. So that makes that, that that makes you think that John's about to do some moves he regrets. Oh, yeah. maybe not actually. There we go. So it opened the S foils and boosted. Oh, I like this. So he's probably so he's still in Wolf Warrow and the turret arc on Dutch, but he dodges the nasty, nasty um, five dice shots coming in. However, this does make me think that Kerkun is about to eat a world of pain. Yeah, but Kerkun hasn't got any locks, really. Oh, one lock. It's, it's, got, it's Garvin's for the APT. Oh, dear. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> really wrong. So, Dut, uh, Temin did the um, his free boost and then focused. And we... Do you... What? Well, oh, I forget which way the Randy X wings go. Yeah, I was gonna say you boost because that dodges the bullseye, and I think you're not in range one, even if if you're even in arc of uh, Garvin. Oh, I don't think you're in arc. So whilst Care isn't gonna get mods, he has dodged the heavy hits for the moment. He's he's dodged a lot there. To be fair, yeah, um, that's a pretty good dodge. On, like on he, I, he he's dodged the important bits. Although Wolf is still going to hurt. Yeah, well, Wolf is going to hurt no matter what, right? <laughs> yeah. Matt Coggins getting jumpy in the chat just because he won against Liam. Uh, See, this is where I get to use my the power of hindsight and say should have given Wolf that target lock. Yeah. But then you'd have target locked the wrong ship anyway. I mean, Wolf can shoot both of them, right? Well, he can. Anyway, we got a turret, looks like. That's interesting. I think it's, he's going for the one he has the lock on. Yeah, I think I still would have probably just taken the range two out the front. He spent his lock as well, didn't he? I think I would have kept the lock for a better shot. Yeah. John did a good job of avoiding that trap. And obviously, uh, he's got a good spending... job of uh, splitting them around as well. So he is spending the focus. So yellow takes no damage from the Dutch's shot, but here comes, here comes one the of the shot. hammers. Yeah. Going into Kerkun, so the guy he's already dealt damage to, because yeah, Kerkun took one damage from Jake. Makes sense. May as well just focus fire what you can, I guess. And hey! Three hits. So, two more shields off Kerkun. Okay. Ooh, Chewie just does the path watch. Wolf. So. Yeah. So, Chewie has one reroll thanks to Kerkun's M9G8. And does have a calculate and the and force, I three. believe. Yeah, it's pretty much guaranteed three hits. Yeah. Yeah. So that's three hits right there. Right. Do the end nine anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Three hits. Hit. Hit. Crit. Yay! 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 Gotta love resistance mods. There you go. Now he's reading the M nine G eight. There we go. 
two rolls from Wolf. Spends it. To just Spends take focus, one. so yeah, loses two, two shields. Yeah, true. Always M9 for a crit roll, possibly. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Dad has accused M9 G8 of cheating. It's a cheating mod, apparently. All right, so focusing fire into Wolf Waro here. Yeah, it's the big hitter. you got to get rid of him first. Uh, so hit and crit from Kaikun. And Wolf does not uh, have results. Ooh, the crit goes through. Direct hit. Oh, I'm loving these direct hits. Okay, so Wolf uh, not feeling it, I believe. <laughs> And they okay, so Temin did have no targets. So where do you go from here? So, because at the very least, you've set up blocks of Jake and Garvin. Uh, I guess which really side do you pick? Block. Yeah. Or do you just go all in at Chewy at this point? Like, maybe? Or maybe you do just call it all in at Chewie, and because... Uh, uh, Chewie can just three forward and then boost. So you can get out most things over Chewie. Yeah. Like, is, is um, there a good choice here? I don't really think there is. Um, it's a hard choice for both, to be fair. Because I feel like... On John's part, the X Wings try and bug out. Like, you don't really want the X Wings to be hanging around in that scrum. Um, no. Do you gamble that Wolf goes to the left now after Chewie? And then with Care Kun, you can go like a two forward and then one hard boost. And then yeah, I think, Wolf. I think maybe you do. But then if you get that wrong, See, you're it's all over. Up against yeah. Wolf. It's funny because yeah. my, my first thought was send Jake and Garvin round the back. Sort of threatening Chewy, but uh, and then too hard to the right with Dutch and Wolf War. Except yeah. Janet, Gen House, too hard in with Snap. That's yeah, my, my I can see that. Yeah, because Snap has an advanced proton torpedo, so he just wants to fire it. Like a real possibility at either killing Wolf Waro or like one shotting Jake or something ridiculous. Um, and especially because Jake is stressed, so there's no K turning or anything like that from Jake. Garvin Talon roll here? Is that any good? Good Talon roll, good K turn. But um, so if not you... sure either are great ideas. So if you. See, if you can send Dutch in and try and get a block on the T-70s, if they decide to turn in, if they bug out, then they bug out and you've not lost anything, then you could Talon with Garvin, turn in with Wolf Waro. Once Wolf gone, there's only three more hits needed to do that. Well, that's it. Chewie, I see like a one or a two straight. Yeah, I think with Chewie, just two straight, and then either boost if you feel you need to, or just rotate the turret. Yeah. I, th I think you accept Wolf Waro probably dies this round and just try and get him a a really good... Get, get him a hammer. Parting gift. Yeah. Yeah. If you two hard to the left with Wolf and Dutch, once Garvin's out of the way, you could get some good plasma torpedoes and a good wolf horror shot there into Chewie. Yeah. I think that's probably his best bet on getting some damage in this turn. Uh, Garvin could too hard around that debris as well. I think, like, personally, but yeah, that would probably be my, what I would do. Try and use Jake to do some focus shenanigans. And go all in on Chewie this turn. And then reset with whatever you have left. Um, it's a shame he hasn't got any bombs, because that would have uh, been good this turn. <laughs> <laughs> if 
Did you see in the chat? I have. Yeah, it's the third world rookie list. Uh, this one came up first, and I um, I had my own amendment going on in the mind of uh, it. It was developed at the same sort of time as my version with Poe and the blue. All right. So Garvin closing his S foils. Interesting. And turns ah. in after Chewie. Turns in and then boost. Yeah. With a target lock. No, no. No. Fo focus no, boost. Fo focus boost, yeah. Of course. So Rebel's taking the dive onto the third wheel option. Go ahead. Let, ma let the marriage couple do their thing. So what does Jake do here? Barrel boost? No. Boost. So he boosts. Gives Thanks himself a focus. focus. Wolf Waro turns in. Wolf will take a focus. No point barrel rolling. I think Wolf can fit a barrel rolling, can he? No, I don't think so. Yeah, that's very right, cool. And two hard in, take a lock, give one to Wolf. Yeah, yeah. here we go. There you go. All in on Chewy. Lock Chewbacca, give Wolf a lock. Wham bam. <sighs> Chewy does something ridiculous like a three straight Chewy, boost and everyone's eat unhappy. A plasma, eat a plasma and a wolf shot. I wonder if he's thinking about giving it to Garvin in case he can get the advanced oh, pro tops out. Mm, that's not a bad show. Yeah, but. Either way, it's a four dice shot, right? Because Garvin's S4s are He's closed. Oh, wait, no, of course. It's a, S4s no, is only primary attack, isn't it? Only primary attack, so yeah. Garvin's potentially got a fully powered. APT. Why is he? So Dutch with the R3 gets to keep his lock. Dutch uh, hasn't on... got an R3, has he? Doesn't he? Okay. He's got two locks now. Like... Yeah, he has two locks. At least, well, at least not on the XWS list that was yeah, on. Yeah, he hasn't got he hasn't got one in here. I assume he'll remove it in a second. Can we go in there and see what's going on? There we go. They're removing it. I think they're. I think John's on it. Think... John's keeping an eye on these things. Yeah, that's a good point, Genitaris. Wolf, in case Garvin gets bumped, if Chewie's done something slow. But... Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I think you want Chewie's to Chewie's done something bigger. slow and it didn't bump. <laughs> hello, 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 Chewbacca. This is going to hurt Chewie. Yeah. If he I mean, this, I'll be surprised. Does, you know, honestly, as Chewie... I mean, actually, I just... Okay. Boost out that, get out of range one, and then you can... You don't have to rotate. You, See, my my thing was assume death, focus, and just take the free rotate when you die. There's no need oh, now. It's, it's got a, a chance bit, of surviving. It's a bit early to start yeah. assuming death. Well, here comes Temin. Is he going to take his boost? Doesn't look like it. Just going for the target lock. Just keep focusing Wolf here. Ah, so Temin has the R3. Hard one. Kunda's a one straight, and I'm guessing we'll hard, hard boost. boost. Yeah. Nicely done. So that boost actually does heavily reduce the amount of damage coming in because now if Garvin's shooting, he's only using a two dice primary. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. It's, yeah, it's it's a massive swing in how many dice were coming into Chewie there. You had to boost. All right. Garvin rolls two hits. That's it. See, that could have been a five. Now it's just one. Yeah. 
you've significantly increased. Now, I was surprised at that, because surely you're going to want this one to go through to strip the shields first. Yeah. Maybe he was just... I don't know, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> I think he was doing Garvin just because I feel like Garvin wants to shoot first, so ah, he has the chance to yeah. spend his focus. Wanted, yeah, that's it. That's exactly why. Because e that, that's, that's not happened. the plasma we were waiting for. No. It still goes through. That. He can ray it. Oh, ray, yeah. Boom. Nothing goes through. Okay. Chewie is now surviving this round. Yep. Yep. Well, we have the he wolf shot. Enzrude needed that to go through. Yeah, he spent it. Three hits and a crit. Three and a crit. That was better. Yeah, if, it, if that plasma has gone through, uh, this is a very done. sad Chewy. <laughs> the crit is... Damage sensor array. Chewy can only focus. That's not all bad, where he is right now. Ooh, obstructed. Use two bank next turn, and then you can clear that. He's fine. He is fine. Yeah, it looks like the the gamble has not paid off. Because now the X Wings are gonna. I mean, you, they kill Wolf here, right? Yeah. yeah. Fire with Care can first, and then that way Temin can take the range one into Dutch if Wolf is already dead. You gotta hope. Care yeah. does two, so Wolf, Wolf will live. Die. This shot. Definitely <laughs> living. Okay, Kaken's got to really try and work hard here and take him out. Oh, oh Chewbacca. Chewie, Chewie, Chewie has a reroll thanks to the, the lockety lock. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, that's there you go. Hey. No, he's dead. Gotta love. Uh... Oh, it looks like Enzo is looking for the reason for the reroll. It's the uh, M9G8. I feel like that's an astromech that I've never ever seen before this tournament, and now I'm seeing it every single game. Yeah, it's a, it's a good droid. It's not cheap. Uh, and so whatever carry you put it on makes it a very expensive ship. Um, yeah, like I say, it's not a cheap droid. And now Temin gets to range one Dutch! <laughs> Again, uh, I mean, I guess we're beating a dead horse here, but uh, ee, those concussion bombs are look, looking real good Ooh, right now. Ooh, that's an honor. Not that nice. Yeah, oh, this is the APT. Oh! I was... yeah. That's... That's... Ouch. Hey, that's... it goes through. Uh, goes through. APT as well. Both shields. Right, so, so no one's missiles are doing particularly great. Yeah, Kerr did a Kerr boost, uh, Jeanette House. That's why he's slotted right in next to Temi. Yeah, I reckon two bank from Chewie now. Yeah. Um, I feel like then... Chewie can just sort of leave. <laughs> let, yeah. let, let the rebels trail let after him. him. Yeah, not the, the APT we were where looking they for. Be. Uh, two C70s where they want to be. Uh, this isn't looking great for the rebels now. Um, I'll be honest. I mean, I feel like the Rebels are sort of stuck in the... Well, no, because they're moving before Chewie, they can't actually chase him, though, can they? Because they can't go fast enough to keep pace with Chewie if Chewie goes faster. Yeah. Chewie's definitely going to do a, ro um, a blue, though, because he wants to get rid Fix of that. Fix that crit, yeah. Fix that crit, because then he can do all his shenanigans when someone does eventually die. Um, Did Chewie take his boat? Oh, wait, no, it's friendly ship, isn't it? For Chewie, isn't it? Not just any ship. Yeah, never mind. I was going to say, hey, a ship died. Chewie shoot? No. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, I've killed you. Now I'm going to kill your friend. That would have been nice last game, to be fair. Right, let's use a 95 SWAT. Nice. Let's go again.
Is that a, a I was gonna say, is that a nice refreshing beverage there? It is a nice refreshing beverage, and I'm letting everyone else hear it. <laughs> it's straight from McDonald's. No, it's in a glass actually. Oh. It, okay. With a straw? Uh, With how a are straw. you both doing in the uh, tin event? I'm one nothing, and I play my next game tomorrow. Oh, uh, nice. What are you against? I haven't looked, and I I've just I tend not to look until I get into the game. Well, thank you for that. So You're all perfectly like aware of how I'm doing. And to be honest, <laughs> yeah. I know you're yeah, playing yeah. like tomorrow or Thursday. Chris, would, what? No, I meant because my only game I've played so far was on stream. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> um, Chris, can you move your hand? Yeah. Can I'll you see. be not oh, red? Not my real one. <laughs> can, can you not be red as well? <laughs> Oh, unbelievable. Oh no, right, so demanding. Oh. I guess you probably could have waited on the APT, but this... I, I know, that, that felt more like uh, the results of rolling in five dice of re-rolls. So, uh, like... how are you guys finding the list you've come up against in the balance tournament? You feel there's been an interesting choice in, in list building? Feel like the... You know the intense, yeah, the intense works. You know to get some some different thoughts out there. Some different. I'm liking it. Um, it's some interesting lists out there, and it's good to see the mixture of the highs and the lows. Yeah, um, and the and mix. three yeah. four. It makes having a bit of initiative four worthwhile. Uh, if you do go down that route, um, but it still keeps bids in the high and lows still worthwhile. But then it's then not just. Oh, look, everyone moves after me. Brilliant. Yeah. It's no, no feels bad. And if anything, having a blocker is, well, as you could see last game, Dad yeah. having the two initiative ones, he kept getting blocks on my six and my four all yeah. the time. Um, to be fair, he was going in mental places that I would never have <laughs> normally expected people to go. Well, but he called it right and got some good blocks in. That is good. Uh, and that, that uh... did poo in the end, so... I've I've got some interesting ideas for two more tournaments with uh with interesting challenges again. Um probably thinking about maybe just doing a quick knockout style one. Next. Um yeah, with some more some more challenges, some more you know, so we're not just playing extended and hyperspace, it's a bit it's a bit different. So you know, you're not just gonna come up against the same stuff again and again. So yeah, if everyone enjoys that, you know, as long as people play them, I'll keep putting them on. Yeah, no, it's um, it's a good way of doing it. Actually, I think you'll quite like the idea I've got for the uh, for the knockout one, Chris. I'll run it past you later. Yeah, no worries. Sam knows it. He thinks it's quite good. I'm interested to know more. Stars are being set. So last chance, of course. What do you think the rebel player's doing? Uh, two bank with Dutch to the left, and two straight with Garvin, and two bank to the left with Jake. I think he's really regretting not having any concussion bombs at the moment. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Just, uh, let's not keep harping on about that one. First you know, if, we, if, we'd be, if we'd been nice observers, we'd have let him have the action after he bumped, because he took the action after he bumped anyway. Uh, that's game state, you can't. <laughs> Like, that's not that's you, not missed opportunity. You, just, you, notice, that's you notice play you notice player mistakes, and you just you know well maybe maybe I'll be a nice person and let it happen. His opponent needs to know is the one who's supposed to notice when your opponent is cheating. <laughs> yeah, but also it's you know integrity of the tournament and everything. So blah de blah de blah. <laughs> Please do. We his squadron will be rocking in for that bomb for the rest of eternity. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, permission acquired. <laughs> That's the funniest oh, bombshell okay. I've ever seen. <laughs> it's about as good as when I play the Separatist bombers who can launch bombs, who throw a bomb one forward, then just roll onto your own bomb and hope. I mean, to be fair, we've all we've all done stuff like that. I'm sure I've played you once, Sam, where I set up Anakin to just minutely skew with and then five forwarded him off the board on the first turn. Yes. Yeah. I've definitely never flown Poe off a board. Never. Uh, oh, that's true. We all know that much. Yep. 
Never done that ever. Hey, Although... that, was, that was on TTS as well, wasn't it? I know. Yes, it was. All right. So, Enzo has flipped all of his dials. We've got a three bank from Dutch, a two bank from Jake, and a one straight from Garvin. I hope Garvin flipped his okay. It Looks like he didn't. So I had the directions right, just not the speeds. I don't blame him for going a, a bit fast and. Yeah. So Dutch takes the lock and gives the lock to someone else. Well, I'm guessing Jake because Garvin's already got. Four. And Jake does a two bank. I am surprised. Um, barrel roll anything... boost. Bar barrel roll focus boost. Yeah. Because that yeah. sets up your um, yeah. bullseye pointing towards the um, the likely bank where Chewbacca is going. Thinking back, he could have um, reloaded. Oh, Stuart. He could have reloaded his concussions uh, when on that turn there was the block of four. There wasn't the engage. When he first um, as he was probably only going to be doing a blue maneuver anyway. So that was a missed Dutch gets a focus to from back. Jake's um, ability. Action economy all around. Everyone has focuses. Everyone has target locks. Although the looking at it, it would have started dropping straight away. So actually, that would have gone bad. So. Kekun uh, does that. Temin does that. Uh, so Temin... Action to Kekun take. Action, Kekun just flew straight and focused. Okay. Uh, Temin's taking some more locks onto, yep. um, Dutch and Garvin. And Chewie does a two straight and fixes his thingy, I assume. Gotta fix the focuses. thing. Gotta fix the thing, you're not gonna focus there. Surely not. You have to fix it, because if you die... I don't think the focus is the right call. Yeah, Fix there we him. go. That was definitely the right call. Unstressed. Hello, Stuart. Welcome to game two. Uh, dodges the bullseye of the Procket again. Dodges range as well. So, Jake Farrell rolls a single crit. Spends the lock and gets a hit. Here we go. You just spent the you spent the full stone, you because yeah, just negate the attack. Like especially because it's a crit yeah, at yeah, this point, absolutely. you just you don't want a structural damage thing. would would, would end you. you. Yeah. I feel pretty sure that that stress shouldn't be there on Chewie. Did Chewie get two stress at some point? Then I've forgotten. Um, you shouldn't have. Oh yeah, yeah. We, he he must be on stress because he did an action. So uh, as long as the players know what he is, should be. Yeah, right. the stress should go. I can't take it now because you made me lose my color. So it's Sean all on it. Sean. I didn't make you lose your color. I asked you to move your hand. Yeah, and then yeah. sound. Sounds fault. All right. Is this a was this a plasma top? It was two hits more onto Chewbacca. Okay. So Chewie's got four hull left. Here comes Garvin. Three on two. Wait, no, two on two because his S foils are still closed. Which seems like a fail trigger there. Spends lock and just doesn't convert. So one more hit. Not Chewy going. rolls and evade. It's just not going the rebels' way this game. No, it's not. They got the action efficiency there, but the dice just aren't giving. Yeah, but I feel like some of it is like the action efficiency is happening on like inopportune turns like it i feel like he's forgotten yeah. to open his s foils um Oof. just three going through so this is uh dutch i assume so three into dutch kablam 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 and then we've got temin oh no this is that was temin Kekun. like i guess shoots dutch again yeah, you just need to get three through to finish um. him. Oh, well. Dice give of dice take of the way. Single hit. Uh, of course it goes through. Of course. Um, but... Should we get a 
Yeah, Chewie gets to shoot. And were this meant any other game, mm -hmm. I would have said, you know what? Dutch has done his job. All of his ordnance and bombs have been fired. Uh, Reroll. Oh, Thank you. Bad roll. Oh, yeah. Nice. I see John's taking his pick of whether he re-rolls in the box there. Didn't when it was a crit, did when it was a focus. We're keeping on it. Well, wasn't that his G9 re-roll? Well, no, no. Well, maybe. M9 re-roll, even. He's he's picking when he re-rolls when he's out of the box, not apparently. Oh, okay. We're keeping on it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see. Well, no, to the, be fair, if that, if, that was, if that was his G9 re-roll, then that's fine. Yeah, that, that would have been, yeah. M9, even. All I saw was him pull one out of the box and uh, that fell out of the box and re-rolled it. Re -rolled and it. I know he, yeah, he put the um, focus back in and then he re-rolled the other focus. Didn't Clearly, he? no one is reading the stream notes. I mean, yeah, they're just in the way, right? <laughs> yeah, I shrunk mine down and got rid of it. Yeah, it looks like John's cleared the stress. No, I think he just forgotten it was there. I mean, I guess Chewie just keeps on rolling, right? Did the Dirty Dark Star spy? Bet on the rebels to uh, come free. Looks like he did. Oh, the guy uh, who lives in Cornwall and has sided with the Devons. Well, oh dear. That, that's what, a what, real what? shame because he was also top of the standings going into tonight's stream. I mean, I also bet on the rebels, so what can I say? I, My cast fair, I feel a penalty, back. penalty point for Stuart just for being on Dark Stars when he lives in Cornwall. I think. Yeah. That's, uh, okay, no, that's a little bit biased. Come on. I think it's justified. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think this <laughs> is just, just slowly slipping away from the rebels' hands at this point. Uh, Dutch yeah. has ran out of ordnance. Uh, Jake has given lots of focuses out, but not done a whole lot. And Garvin's. <laughs> His pockets but, can still do some work. Yeah, he's got he's still got the pockets and the APT. And Chewie has taken a lot of damage. And Kirkun has lost his shield. It's not over. It's just slowly slipping away. How do you approach this? Like you just, you need to launch the the five dice shots, like if the rebels have want any chance of getting back into this. I'm not sure I like the forward backwards on Chewy, but it seems to be working for John. I mean, I guess just in the situation it is, he, if he's being chased. No, this turn does a one bank fit, or is he going to have to do a turn? A one bank should fit, I suppose. The one bank should fit. But is he still going to have an arc? We'll find out when we see where the rebels go. I mean, at this point, you keep chasing Chewie. Like, I feel like you're 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 too far gone, right? It's sort of like a sunk cost. Uh oh, that's not where Dutch wants to be in the slightest. No, this isn't going well. I feel bad for him now. I right, I know I was like to land on a rock when you didn't intend to. I mean. I feel like most of the time... We've all been there. Yeah. What are you talking about? I only land on rocks that I intend to land on. That's only because you're a cheating joy player where you just make it up as you go. <laughs> oh, Jake's taking the fight. Here we go. I like this. Jake's going for the proton rocket. Jake's in, Jake's in for the rocket. I like this. I think... Ooh, do you stay there and just focus, though? Like, because you could boost. So. No, I think you... But I feel like if you boost, Kerkun might overshoot you, and then Temin will just bump you. Yeah, I think you just focus. I was looking at doing the barrel roll to the left and then boosting in. But... Okay, so now that Chewie's done the turn... Um, he yeah, okay, so he's, he's gone with the rotate. Okay. It's the it's the sensible list uh choice on the uh action there. Has a decent chance of just outright killing Dutch, which is quite nice. Yeah, so he's only depending on, on I feel yeah, like chances of dying are slim. Oh, and Kerkun doesn't bump. Takes uh, the focus. Totally. 
He's not boosting? And, oh, okay, so no. he's just eating a procket. Kekun is probably going to die here. There's a strong likelihood of it. Well, he'll get the revenge shot, won't he? So He will, yeah. So the S4s are back open. Yes, Three on are. one. Yeah, the boost would have been money. Uh, so that would have been two bumped X-Wings. Oh, one hit. Spends the focus for two. To give it to Dutch. To try and keep Dutch give alive. Give it to Dutch. Nice. Force for one. And Chewbacca takes another down. damage. It's getting there. He's alive. All right, so you kill. Ke I guess you just go for Kekun. Yeah, you have to. Firing the rocket. Do, 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 do. All right, come on. Let's get some nice dice here. Who's got the target lock on him? Garvin. Okay. That's some nice dice. That's that's, that, that. that's pretty good. Spend the focus. Here we go. Four hits. Oh, that's just insane. Of course. Heroic. Oh no, it's the wrong one. It's just rude, John. J Vickery. God darn it. Good showing for the third world book here. Yeah. Can it's now a solid be... list. Um, yeah, well, just... I think both are solid lists. Oh, and the river one. Yeah, the river one's good. Yeah, I think if I if I start flying rebels, I might fly something similar to this. This is what rebels do. Yeah. It's just as you engage, you're very much you're locked into a tactic of I joust, and then if the dice crap out on you, you can see how hard it is to pull it back. Yeah. All right, Dutch, Dutch lives to fight another day. They they do what the Republic don't. You know, the Republic don't tend to... There are some, but not as much action economy in jousting. It's more Jedi doing Jedi things and then clones nipping around. John questioning how uh, Dutch got the uh, focus there. I can't have it all his own way. Range 1 into Dutch. This is a focus target lock shot onto a Y-Wing with one hull. Spends the focus. I, uh, I like Veteran Instinct's the suggestion there. Unheroic. Minus two points. When you roll natural hits or evade, you must re-roll. I like it. That's a bit rude. Hey, it cheapens up your um, aces. Mandatory on all Burnett lists. Must a bit unfair. I think... I think your Jedi should have it staple to them as well. I've and got, Grievous. I've got to give Ryan a chance. So I feel like I can... Do you just, like, range one into Jake here? Or do you keep going after the X-Wing? Jake? Yeah. Oh, what now? Next turn? No, just now, like, as in, because Kekun's would, would... I guess if he's got range one at both. I don't know, he's doing a range one to try into something. Well, oh, what? Yeah, he had a... Hello. Hang on. Why is he got an... What's Garvin's the extra dice two. from? I'm confused. Oh, because he rolled four dice. Yeah. yeah. You can go and tell him more. Yeah, probably should tell him that. Got that, Sean? Hang on, I'm just typing in the chat. Go on, Tio. So, yeah, it's um, it's a very interesting game here. It's definitely John's to uh, throw away here now, unfortunately. Um, it's just not gone the Rebels' way. Like, that engaged... He laid up a good trap there, but John just saw it coming and flew away. 
Yeah. And then when he did get the good engage on Chewie, he just the dice weren't there for him. Yeah, um, looks like, looks like they're gonna re-roll it. Okay. Makes sense. I mean. Oh, okay. Well he lost two shields, so if he rolls one of eight, it's same. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Same okay. result. Net result, same. Net result, Not same two. thing. Which is fair though, that that makes things right. Had to do it. John's so. just there going, bloody tins interfering. Interfering in my victory. Um, Jedi's are great right. when you fly them, Stuart. I'm more than happy to face you in your Jedi. <laughs> Especially when I've got Venny and Ray. So this looks bad for Enzeru, but like at the same time, John is he's kind of flying on the knife edge because like if Kekun and Chewie go they, down yeah, for no bleeding. answer. Although to be fair, if either Chewie or Kekun go down, Chewie gets two shots. Well, uh, yeah, but like two shots maximum. If they go, if they both go down in the same turn, then he gets three shots. No, because you only get one bonus attack per round. It's quite right. Outrageous. <laughs> this isn't <laughs> first edition. Outrageous. I call baloney. I mean, you get an, you get more actions, sure. I call baloney. Well, there are, there is no baloney to be called. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Let's not argue this. Do we really want to give Zam more attacks? Yeah, I was gonna say, like, if you're, if you, well, no, yeah, then also remove the charge requirement on Sam. <laughs> no. Sam's fair. Sam's fair and wholesome. I mean, to be honest, I think Sam is kind of relatively fair. Sam is nowhere the, near fair. The the bonus attack component is the random free locks is over the top. The bonus component isn't even that great, and it's. It's fine if it's costed appropriately. The crew card at four points is not costed appropriately. Oh no, I agree. The crew card is outrageous. I'm I'm talking about the pilot mainly. I think the I think the bonus attack component. I say is that it's fine. Actually, to be fair, four points within the separatist faction in itself, I think is actually probably fine. Because the crew carries and the separatist faction outside of the fire sprays are just sort of meh. Yeah, but four like, points. Maybe is five dumb. or six. Maybe five or six, but. Four points in scum is yeah. ridiculous. The amount of amazing ships you can have it on. True. Just, um, yeah. It's a, it's no. a definite six, seven point card, I think. But, to be I think fair... They should I think they should price it differently for the factions it's in, to be honest. Because, like, there's yeah. just such different access. But that's that's a whole design area that they haven't even looked into. Uh, see, I have to disagree with Stuart there. I think Zam's, Zam's ability is fine. I just think it needs costing. Right. Yeah. Yes. Like... And it's other people like, say, Magva Yarrow, Crew and Rebels, that cost seven points, and then all you get is the target lock requirement of Zam. I have to like, admit... That I needs to go yeah. down, and Zam needs to go up. I, I do get that people find Zam complicated. I feel the whole, if you reach the end and you haven't been shot bit, could have just been left behind, and just have them as after you defend abilities. Mm, but to be fair, after using it at the weekend, having the oh, I don't think we're going to get shot this turn, so I'm going to use that one. Yeah. Um, I feel that is it's it's all part of it because it brings a different dynamic yeah. to each card. For, There's I think too much the, going on for the two cards, but I think the way the they've done it, right? The over the top part is gaining the locks. Yeah. I think that's the problem because there's no yeah. lit like you just get locks randomly. Effectively uh, for free. Yeah. 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 Maybe I, think, been I, think, a... I think. I think. It, I think. If it was after you defend, gain a charge back, and maybe something that was less like, ridic like less like well, power even boosting. That. Even that. If you think you're going to be defending, have it on where you get a charge back per defend. Yeah. If you don't think you're going to be defending, have it where you get the two charges back. Done. Yeah. It, it like you say, it's the target lock element. It's, yeah, it's too and, much to Because I think I think the bone I think the bonus um attacking part is just fine. Like it's like 
or or even have a have a penalty for acquiring the lot, like taking a strain or or something where it's not. Yeah, like you, like if you, after you defend, recover one charge, you may take one strain to acquire a lock or something. Yeah. Oh, John's gone over that rock. Yolo. Uh, Yolo. Okay. Uh, I'm with you, Marty, in the chat. Um, Zam is definitely worth six, whether it's the IS or Scum. And uh, yeah, Mark, that is a that is a good move from Chewy to get out of the arcs there. That was that was good. And easily dodges Jake's shot. Garvin. Okay, so um, Garvin check. Has Garvin done anything this game? Uh, he chipped at Chewy. He chipped at Chewy last turn. Hey, there's some Chewy chip. Chewy's taken two more damage. He's almost gone. Two left. Here comes Temin. Focus target lock into Garvin. Take it through the rock. When you roll like that. When you roll, when you like, roll that. like that. <laughs> <laughs> and give Jake an extra focus just cause. Yes. Computer says no. I call your paint with more paint. So John's just here with straight up three more paint. And Chewy. <laughs> more oh, paint. More here we go. Good. Crit into Garvin. What's the crit? Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. What's in the box? Stunned pilot. All right. Whatever. Don't hit the rock. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, don't fly over the rock. Simple as. Jake's focuses go to waste. What a shame. Uh, so we got six minutes left in the round. Um, I reckon you one forward with care, and then one hard. Teleport. It's in the or run away, to be fair. It's that close to the end now. I don't think there's any point in pushing it. There's no point winning harder. Um, if you can get a shot, then go for it. Uh, I see a two bank to the left from Chewy, and then probably a boost. Uh, Jake's not really going to get a shot there. Jake's only hope is going after Care, so Care has to run, I think, actually, this turn. Uh, Garvin's probably going to two hard to the left, which will probably block snap. That's probably what I'm calling. Do you have any uh, counters to that? Not really, to be honest. Probably I feel like. Have... I can't see Chewie going to the right, so. Yeah, there's Garvin's two left. Here comes Garvin. Do, do, I reckon do, do, he'll focus. Do, do, do. No, yeah. There's, <laughs> there's hey. Jake going all in on care. He just focused there, I think. Target lock. The lock. Hey. Interesting. Without a focus. Yeah. Care no, one really straight. want that focus. Care's not staying there, though. No, not a chance. S foils are what are the S foils on care. They're closed apparently. That you gives them the barrel boost. roll option. If they're closed, then you barrel roll and focus. Or focus roll. Can Chewie and Care both die? Yeah, that is possible. Oh, if Snaps done a K turn, that'll be interesting. Nice and juicy. So is this a focus barrel roll from Carecon? Mm, he's debating it. That's the only problem with Kerkun. I love doing being able to do a one hard boost, but it's the action efficiency out of Kerkun trying to get any sort of shooting out of care that's with reliable modified dice. That's my issue with the ship. Hmm. 
<laughs> if Enzo asks nicely on can they both tie? Yeah, that's fair. All right, focus barrel roll. That seems the right call. Get out of range one, and you've got a mod to keep stuff I mean, alive. Do you get out of range one, though? Mm, maybe. 4k from Temin. And two bank from Chewy, so he clears that stress. And double calculates. Nice. So you got one for defense and one for attack. Yep, so now you're basically... You know what? He's effectively like Darth Maul in the Scimitar. He's got three force, effectively. He's like a Jedi. Yep. Uh, so, Garvin is sad. Garvin is sad. Spends the focus, though. <laughs> um, yeah, and is dodged. Oh, dear. Chewy is OP. Did uh, just get yep. that focus over to Jake, though, which is why I'm assuming he took the lock. Yep. Uh, of course, yes. Uh, Jake spends the lock. Nice. Nicely done. Need some paint. Not enough Eyes paint. Anyway. Care couldn't be dead. Chewie gets to shoot, maybe. Chewie, Chewie does get to... Wait, no, I don't think they're arranged. They're one to three of each other. No. No, they're not. Nope. And that also loses Chewie his Kerkun mod from the target lock. No, because it's still here. Till the oh, end. no, it's still initiative, isn't it? Because everyone's four. Everyone yeah. loves initiative four. Uh, Temin shoots Garvin. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Spends the lock. Okay, it doesn't convert it, thank God. Takes, takes the crit. crit. Could be enough. If not, Chewie will finish him. Oh, it's a fuel leak. Uh, so, blank. What do you mean? It's a crucial, crucial last minute thing now. Okay, sure. <laughs> All right. Chewie's <laughs> Garvin. Uh, M9G8. M9G8. Oof. Okay, and then force calculate. Yeah. Two. So Garvin needs all the paints, which he does he not get. get. So all right, Jake versus the world. Here we go. Unfortunately, Jake's flying first. <laughs> uh, 18 seconds to go. All right, so they're probably not getting another round, are they? Well, even if they do, even if he one shot at Temin, we're somewhere right. They go for it. Train. Calm. I do believe. I do believe John just deleted his uh, force token by accident, but I'm sure you'll notice that in a minute. Maybe he's trying to play fairly. Ding, 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 ding. It's been a good game. Yeah. It's just not quite gone the Rebels' way. It was all just down on that first two engagements, where the Rebels were dodged, and then the Rebels' dice... Well, it, to be fair, I think this game was decided on the on the uh, who goes first roll. Yeah. Because now, essentially, jo John's got three initiative sixes for all it matters. Um, whereas if Enzuru had been going last, there's no way John would have been getting out some of these arcs like he has been. Um, first player was a very big deal in this game. Um, I'd definitely consider dropping Rose. Um, no, 3PO even. Definitely definitely consider dropping 3PO in this list to give yourself a bit of a bid. Or even the APT, to be honest, for what it did. Yeah, and also with the, with the rebels, do you just drop the dorsal turret? Maybe. Yeah, like the rebels can do a similar sort of thing. Um, although the bid isn't as important for them, um, but for what a dorsal turret gives Dutch, I'm not sure it's worth wow. it. Wow, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Is that okay. Jake? Uh... No, Jake has one. They're not quite. Jake's on one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> no. There's that right there, people is what you've got to look forward to from the new squadron packs. Oh yeah. All Everyone's getting excited about the new A-Wings. 
Everyone wants to use A-Wings. Everyone's going to wish they had Heroic. <laughs> yeah, much. Oh, look, my Ahsoka's dead. Oh, yeah. You can have all the force in the world. It won't help you on blanks. Yeah, well, at least Sabine Ash Ren will Stuart. probably be all right. Oh, yeah. I know that pain. Ash Stewart. <laughs> right. I need to go and make food. <laughs> so I'm probably going to duck out of the stream before everyone joins in. Oh, see you later. Yeah, uh, but... To be fair... Ahsoka would probably have an evade token, but even then, that's a half the Ahsoka right there. Right, so let's pay out the bets. Uh, so that is I lost. Win. My losing streak is back. Uh, why can't I pick the winner? That was, uh, yeah, that was rubbish. But yeah, if they want to come into the chat, um, I'm sure they'll join us in a second. How was that for everyone? I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the evening. <laughs> so uh because this is the last stream of march um it will be the last stream for our betting we will reset the points uh for our next stream in april uh and as we've said whoever's got the most points at the end of this stream uh will receive a couple of alt art cards from us so uh chris what's your address oh, oh. You'll talk. receiving the alt art cards <laughs> What? Your top? <laughs> your, your top! Oh, Alright. Yeah. Tin Squadron <laughs> rigging these tournaments since 2020. Yeah. Hey, hey, um, hey, I'm second, or the, the, the stream is second, and I haven't placed a single bet. Well, it's not our fault, we're just the ones always watching the streams that we're yeah. commentary on. You, you, are, you, are, right. you are top, followed by Mark Packer Hughes. Ah, oh, go Mark. Um. I'll sort out with you in a minute. Yeah, yeah, sure. Alright, all right. I got I seriously gotta go make food before I go to sleep. So yeah, I'm gonna go, 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 go out before the winners interview. Uh, see you all putting... next week. See you later, Thumb. Is there a way of putting the standings in the chat for everyone to see? Uh... is there like a hashtag uh, exclamation point standings oh, or uh, yeah, there, I'm sure like there's it. a command for for it. Um I just Marty, don't, don't know. be like that. If you watch more streams, you can uh, and bet correctly, then you can win too. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Um, I don't know what it is off the top of my head, and I'd have to Google it. It's something like exclamation mark top or something. It's there. There I am. Oh, oh you found it. Turn. Yeah, it is exclamation point top. Marty, you're in seventh. You're not far behind. And then John Vickery's in 10th. They're yeah. having a good uh, post-game post discussion, I feel. Okay. I will go into their Discord a minute and uh, get them to come and join us. Okay, thank you. I'll leave you to it. Oh, they're, oh, they're there. Well, yeah, that's uh, another two rounds of our tournament. Of two games in this round finished. Um, I hope everyone's been enjoying it. It's certainly been interesting, the different lists that people have come up with. It's just nice Hello. to have something a little bit different. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> um, it was a good game, for sure. That it was, was really, yeah. Yeah, it was a very good game. I, I made some mistakes, but... Uh... The last, last, the, the two, two, two most important goals. The first one for the initiative, and the last one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hate against whole blind. It's like, oh yeah. yeah, no, that was that was rough. That's a uh, that's an insight. We were just saying that's an insight to future uh, rebel A wing players as they uh, get all the new uh, pilots on the field. Yeah, that's why I don't trust three green dice. And I know if I the more dice I have, it depends. The less I roll, so I I should have seen that coming. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we we definitely decided that um, the game was probably decided to a fair degree at the beginning with the dice off as well. I feel I feel that was fairly probably quite uh, crucial to both of you, wasn't it? The, my attacks to, to to Chewbacca was just awful. Like, oh uh, yeah, that was yeah. He should have died some... two rounds before, but yeah. still, he didn't want it to go. Yeah, no, I did some work with the evades for sure. Yeah, it certainly, yeah, it certainly did. But, I mean, you recovered well when you did the bump with the rolling at the beginning. Yeah, and, such. I... and you was like, oh no. And I thought, no, he's, he's alright there, because you got the distance from it as well. So you managed to recover quite well from that. 
Um, yeah, but they, he was quite upset with that. <laughs> he was thinking in. You know, the thing that you you look before me made it very hard for me to catch you in this print uh, one of my advanced potent torpedoes because like it was impossible to do it when I chase you. Yeah, that so, was it. I mean, that was a big worry. And to be honest with you, when I, when snapping the uh, snapping care lined up here, I was like, oh no, <laughs> was that proton rocket? Oh, no. I was, I was, yeah. I was even thinking about uh, turning to the fixing, but with those rocks, it was impossible for me to do that. Like, too crowded. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, it was a good game. I did enjoy it. I did as well. for a bit. <laughs> I to say my it's good to watch. Me. Thanks for coming on. All right. Thanks. Yeah, no problems, Chris. No problems, sure. No, no thank you. It's much appreciated. Cheers, guys. Yeah, no worries. See you guys. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. Cheers. 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 Right, guys, well, that's it for us this evening. Um, I'm actually going to go and raid Nickel City because they've currently got a Defender Vader on the board. I quite, Ooh, I quite what, fancy what watching that. Um, so if you want to join us, stay with us and we'll send it over, hopefully. If I we need a hashtag. It up, right? what, do, do we? What, what's our hashtag? I yeah, don't know. What do we our... raid with? I Get everyone know. to say it. Tin, tin, tin. Hashtag tin, tin, tin. Okay, I will chuck it onto the, the end screen and send us over. So stay with us, guys, and we'll see you next week at 8 o'clock.